Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make these custom paw print ornaments that you can hang on your Christmas tree using only three ingredients. So all you're gonna need for this project is about a half a cup of water, depending on how your dough turns out, one cup of flour, one cup of salt, a mixing bowl and spoon, a cookie sheet, either a cookie cutter, or if you just want a round ornament, you can use the top of a cup to cut it out, a rolling pin, a toothpick, some ribbon to hang it. I just have some little red snowflake ribbon and then you can leave it natural or if you decide to decorate it you can either paint it or I just have some red glitter glue here and a small paintbrush to put it on with. So to make the dough you're just going to add your one cup of flour and one cup of salt to a mixing bowl and just mix it together a little bit. And then you can start slowly adding your water. I have a half a cup here you may need a little more or a little less depending on how your dough turns out. We'll just add the half a cup and then see if we need to add any more. So it looks like a half a cup is pretty good for this dough and this is how it will look before you knead it. After you have your dough like this, it's time to knead it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it on the counter so the dough doesn't stick and get a little on my hands. And then I'm just going to scoop all of this dough out onto the counter so we can knead it into a nice ball. There is still just a little bit of powder in the bottom of the bowl so I'm just going to go ahead and pour that on top and just knead it into the mixture. I'm just going to add a dash more water to this just to make it a little bit better consistency because it is a little dry. So once you've kneaded your dough it should be in a nice ball like this and feel kind of like a cookie dough or other type of baking dough. Then you're just going to take your rolling pin and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want it too thin or you won't be able to get a good paw print in it. And you don't want it too thick or it will take forever in the oven. So now my dough is all rolled out. So I'm going to take my cookie cutter or you could just use a cup for a round one. And I'm going to cut out two stars because I'm going to do one for both Ellie and Steve. So you will have plenty of dough left over in case you have a lot of animals. Now that the shapes are cut out, I went ahead and put them on the baking sheet. I'm going to take a toothpick and make a little hole in one of the points. This will be for our ribbon to go through. So you'll want to make it nice and big so you know your ribbon will get through there. So there is the first one. We'll take our second ornament and just make a hole right in the middle. And just work our toothpick around to make a nice little hole. So now that the holes are in, now comes the hard part getting your pet to actually let you put their paw in here. So I'm gonna go get Ellie and Steve. I'm not gonna film this because I'm sure it will be a little struggle, but I will be back when I have their paw prints. So the imprints are pretty light, but it was pretty easy to get their paw prints in here. Steve just tried to keep eating the dough. As you can see, there are little claw prints. So they're a little bit in perfection, but I'm gonna leave them since that's how Steve and Ellie put theirs in. So taking the toothpick, I'm just gonna go over here and I don't have room to write their full names on here. So I'm just gonna put an S right here cause this one was Steve's. So there is a little S on there and then I'm gonna put an E on this one for Ellie. So now these have a little S and an E on them and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven for about two to three hours at 200 degrees. You just wanna keep them in at a low temperature for a long time just to make sure they get completely dry. So here's what the ornaments look like when they're done. They turned out really good. I ended up keeping these in the oven for about three hours. Oh, I left them in for two hours and I checked them and the top was really hard but the bottom was still wet. So I flipped them over and um, put them on the baking sheet like this for about an hour and they are very, very hard. I've already let them cool and now I'm going to decorate them. You could go ahead and just put a ribbon on them like this if you wanted to keep them natural but I decided I want to decorate them. Um, I didn't show this in the beginning, but I'm going to be adding some white paint to them. And then I'm going to take my red glitter glue once the paint dries and put glitter glue on the paw print. And then I'll probably either put glitter glue or paint on the initials. So let's start decorating. So the ornaments have two coats of paint on them and are completely dry. So now I'm going to attempt to get my red glitter glue and put it in the actual paw print section. It is a little hard to see since the indentions aren't too deep, so hopefully I don't mess this up. So 
So there is Steve's. It was a little easier than I thought since the glue just goes right down in the indentions. Now hopefully it will dry okay and I'll set that to the side and do Ellie's. So there is Ellie's, as you can see hers ran together a little bit because the way her indentions were. I'm also going to try to get this glitter glue and put it down in the E and the S to see if hopefully I can get that to stand out some more. And now we will leave these to dry. So here are what the ornaments turned out to look like once they are dry. As you can see it's still a little wet but overall the glitter is sticking and dry. I did have to get a paper towel and dab out some of the excess glue that was in there just because it was never gonna dry, but this should work out good. Now I'm just gonna take a about a foot long piece of this red snowflake ribbon and I'm going to bend it in half so it will go through this hole. So we'll just put it through there. This ribbon is pretty thick. So it took a second to get through. So once the ribbon is through, I'm just going to take it and double knot it up on the top to close it up. Make sure I pull it nice and tight so it doesn't come undone. And there is our custom made little paw print ornament. Now I don't have any right now, but I am going to get some. I would suggest either getting some like Mod Podge or some clear sealant spray paint to spray these with just so they'll last a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna be getting some and spraying these pretty soon, but for now they do look okay, but that will make them last longer. So there are both Ellie and Steve's completed ornaments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you decide to make these, make sure you add me on Facebook and show me a picture. The link to my page is down in the description. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.